In Flinto for Mac version 2, we made a change in the transition designer. So when you're creating a new transition, if you're moving the entire screens like this, it's become a lot easier because it used to be that you had to select a little border that went around the screen. But now you can click anywhere and drag the entire screen. So that makes it a bit easier to move the screens around, but it makes it a bit harder to access the layers inside. You have to double click or you can command click to select the layers inside if you want those to be part of your animation. And we intentionally set this up so that it's easier to move the full screen and harder to select the individual layers because we noticed people would get confused and start accidentally dragging all the layers around when they really wanted to move the screen. So now moving the screen's easier, moving the layers takes a little, you have to be kind of intentional about it. But there's certain types of transitions where you basically only want to move the interior layers and that's where the screens are aligned. So let me save out of this one, We've got kind of a wacky transition here. And let me make a link from this button over to this screen. And on this transition, I want to have a seamless menu expand effect. So anytime your transition is very seamless, where it doesn't appear like you're moving from one screen to another, you usually will align the screens on top of each other like that. Now, because of the change we made, if you want to move all these individual layers, you have to keep double clicking and it's kind of uh, annoying. So what we did is we added this align screens checkbox. So if I unalign these, and hit that checkbox. Now the screens are locked into alignment and the screen is unlocked so that you can click through. It's not treated like a group anymore. So now I can immediately click through and drag the individual layers. So if I want to do something wacky like this, that kind of transition becomes a lot easier with this align screens checkbox. So just keep in mind, anytime that you, you find yourself aligning one screen on top of the other to do a very seamless transition, try checking this box. It's going to make it a lot easier. And if you're making a pretty standard transition where you're not moving the individual layers, that's easier as well if you keep this unchecked.